There must be no doubt about whose side we're on. People who commit crimes should be caught, convicted, and punished. You will be put away and put away for good. Three strikes and you are out. In 1993, Washington State was the first state to implement the three strikes policy and make it okay to put people in prison and throw away the key. Young kids were getting involved in horrendous violence. Things were spiraling wildly out of control. The face of the threat became young, black, and brown men. This is our hill. Don't come here. The police would round them up for whatever reason they could. What you doing here? You don't live around here. Some people didn't commit crimes and were just caught up. All my friends is either in prison forever or dead. My name's Kamani Carter, and I'm currently serving a life sentence. My history is the life of a lot of kids out there in our community. And my reality as a young man doing life in prison will be their future if we don't start creating better ways of dealing with our children. For somebody who was 18 years old at the time of the crime, you don't know who he's going to be 20 years on. It's about being able to see the commodity that I've become, and not the commodity that I once was. For a lot of those kids, I don't think that they've matured enough to calculate the consequences for their actions. He was 11, and the gangs were already starting the recruiting process. A lot of answers that people in society are seeking will be found in prison. We've caused pain, but we caused pain primarily because we was in pain. The Black Prisoners Caucus is about liberation. The more that we begin to educate ourselves, the more empowered we become. We've created a support group for positivity in the most unlikely of environments. You're never too old to find that peace with yourself. Victims are perpetrators, perpetrators of victims. And we're all victims of this system.